Hi fellas, it's a movie book travel lovers. Our video today is about one of the most influential TV shows of all time, Breaking Bad. The show made its debut on January 10, 2008. The plot of the show is basic and tells the story of a soft-spoken chemistry teacher who, after being diagnosed with lung cancer, risks everything he has worked for to make sure his family will be taken care of it in the event of his death. And here the story is getting darker and season by season it miraculously managing to top the one before it. Before reviewing the show, let's find out some interesting facts about the show. Yes! Come on! The show creator Vince Sullivan in 2011 interview shared that he pitched Breaking Bad to HBO and that it was the worst meeting he ever had. HBO wasn't the only network that ultimately said no to Walter White. Showtime, TNT and FX all passed on Breaking Bad too for various reasons. Have you ever imagined Breaking Bad without Bryan Cranston in the lead role? Actually, it was more than possible. The show creators were particularly interested in casting either Matthew Broderick or John Kozak in the lead role. They wanted to cast a well-known actor. Bryan Cranston wasn't as well-known when the series kicked off and AMC won in a star. AMC executive even once on the line to the Hollywood Reporter how reluctant they were towards casting Cranston. We were like, really? Is not there anybody else? But Brian Creston managed to prove opposite. Lately, Gilligan also added, We needed somebody who could be dramatic and scary, yet have an underlying humanity, so when he dies, you felt sorry for him. Brian nailed it. Jesse Pinkman, who plays the actor Aaron Paul, wasn't supposed to leave past season 1. Jesse wasn't originally intended to be a major character. While it's often stated, he was supposed to be killed off in episode 9, and that it was the 2007-2008 Writers Guild of America strike that saved him. According to Gilligan, it's not true. Based on him, it became clear much earlier than that, that Jesse's character and his relationship to Walter was integral to moving the show forward. Aaron Paul in one of his interviews has been asked about how he would felt if Jesse had been killed off in season 1. His answer was, my career would be over and I would be so been mess watching week to week on Breaking Bad. The Drug Enforcement Administration, DIA, assisted and even taught Brian Creston and Aaron Paul how to cook meth. Based on the importance of the show subject matter, the creators decided to inform and welcome help of the Drug Enforcement Administration, DIA. In the interview, with High Times, Brian underlined, they had the choice to say, we don't want anything to do with it, but they saw that it might be in their best interest to make sure that we do it correctly, so DIA chemists came on board as consultants and taught Aaron Paul and me how to make crystal meth. The iconic blue meth in the show is just the blue rock candy. To be more precise, blue rock candy from the Candy Lady, a beauty candy store in Albuquerque. After the show's fame, they started to have a whole line of Breaking Bad inspired threads, which they sell under the Bad Candy Lady line. In the beginning, Gus Fring's role in the show was planned to be much smaller. Giancarlo Esposito wasn't even interested in taking on the role because of the mentioned fact. Giancarlo once underlined, I had not seen Breaking Bad, but my manager at the time told me that it was his favorite show. My wife said I should try it, but it was a guest spot and I've done a lot of guest spots. I wanted to develop a character. The show creator Vince Willigan got some assistance from The Walking Dead while creating the Gus Fringe Final episode, the iconic one in the show. Fringe Final scene is one of the most memorable visual images from the entire series, and to create this undeniably shocking image creators asked for help from some experts. Gilligan once emphasized in the interview, indeed we did have great help from the prosthetic effects folks at The Walking Dead. Aaron Paul says the word bitch a lot of times in the show, but not as many times as you thought. In total, Paul uses the word bitch 54 times throughout the series, which considering 62 episodes of the show seems a little on the low side. Even though the above mentioned number seems underwhelming, Pinkman's favorite add-on became so synonymous with Paul that in 2013 the actor released an app called Yo Bitch.
Yes. So I love all the bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Are they any Walter White's alter ego is a nod to Werner Heisenberg, who is a Nobel Prize winning Pisces developer of the principle of uncertainty. Perk Piehead of Heisenberg identifies Walter White's dark side, although it originated from a very practical place, shows custom designer Kathleen de Toro once underlined, Brian kept asking me, after he shaved his head, can I have a head, because his head was cold. The White's house has become a big tourist attraction, and lots of pizza has been thrown on its roof. The home that you see in exterior shots is at 3828 Perman Drive NE, a private home in Albuquerque which has become a big tourist attraction. Many fans caught up in the passion of seeing the home where Walter White managed to throw the world's largest pizza on the roof in one swift move, just in one take. Moreover, many fans even attempted to recreate that scene, leaving the home's owner with a regular mess. In 2015, Gilligan appealed to the show's fan base to stop throwing pizza onto the home's roof. There is nothing original or funny or cool about throwing a pizza on this lady's roof. It's been done before, you are not the first, Gilligan mentioned. According to Aaron Paul, Jane's death in the show was the hardest scene to shoot. He said at Reddit AMA, I honestly think the hardest scene for me to do was when Jesse woke up and found Jane lying next to him dead. Looking at Jane through Jesse's eyes that day was very hard and emotional for all of us. When that day was over, I could not be happier that it was over because I really, truly felt I was living those tortured moments with Jess. Funny is the fact that Jesse did still bother Gilligan. When asked about whether he had any regrets about the show or any of its storylines, Gilligan admitted. One thing that sort of troubled me, looking back over the entirety of the show, Jesse's teeth were a little too perfect. There were all the beatings he took, and of course he was using meth, which is brutal on your teeth. He will probably have terrible teeth in real life. Breaking Bad counts 62 episodes in total. This number has a special meaning. The 62nd element on the periodic table is samarium, which is used to treat a range of cancers including lung cancer. Moreover, the death toll is impressive throughout the show. You might be surprised, but exactly 270 people were killed. In 2016, a meth cook named Walter White was warned by authorities. The popularity of the show made a great influence on the people. A 55-year-old man named Walter White rose to the top of Tuscaloosa, Alabama's most wanted list for manufacturing and selling meth. Although White wasn't a teacher, there have been other real-life stories that mirrored Walter White's heritage into the criminal underworld. In 2012, a chemistry teacher named William Duncan was arrested for selling meth. In 2011, Elena Christie, a 74-year-old meth professor, was arrested for running a meth lab. Good fact is that there is a Breaking Bad movie in the works. Sources have confirmed that Gilligan is producing a Breaking Bad movie, though details are extremely limited at this time. The Albuquerque Journal reported that filming is scheduled to begin very soon. And the Emmy goes to... Breaking Bad. There exists only a few TV shows that had such an amazing influence on a society as Breaking Bad had. This is a stunning show with interesting plot twists and perfectly depicted characters. Walter White and Jesse Pinkman make a perfect duo on the screen, and their friendship is something to see and not to miss. The first season of the show lacks action, though from season to season it gets darker and better. Every season is better than the previous one. Every detail, every character and storylines are important and enjoyable to watch. The last episode, 60 seconds of the show is one of the most memorable last series in the history of TV. Brian Creston is just mesmerizing in a show, but not only him, the whole cast is incomparable. They make a perfect harmony. Even the fact that Breaking Bad counts 9.5 stars on IMDb emphasizes is the perfection of the show. If you have not seen it yet, just spare your time and devour it to the Breaking Bad. Believe me, you are not going to regret it. Thanks for being with us. Like the video and write a comment below. See you soon.